Hey guys, Tracy here coming to you all today to speak to you about my interlocking. And I wanted to show you what I had to show you, what I do, as well as show you some new things that I have gotten to help me along with interlocking my own hair. Yes, I'm gonna do it myself, a do it myself. -er. So I need some extra things to help me out here. I invested in getting myself a three-way mirror in which I had did a unboxing of this mirror. Um, I will link the video in the description as well as the card section of where you can go back and check it out and I show you exactly what this mirror looked like when I took it out the box as well as I still keeps it in the box so that way it stays protected and nothing won't happen to it and uh, yeah so it is called the self style beauty at all angles mirror that's what it's called um, I got this off of QVC they were running a special on these at a very good price and if you are interested I will go ahead and link it in the description box that way you can get a hold to that link all right and um yeah so also let's move right along but this is one of my new things that I had got to help me to interlock my hair this way I can see my hair all the way around a whole 360 I can see exactly what the back of my hair is looking like the sides right here and if I turn this way I can see my side and the side of the back over here and I can tell you guys honey I am just loving this mirror because it is helping me out okay I mean totally helping me out I was able to go in there and straighten out parts let me see if I can show you I had some parts back here that was crooked I don't know if you guys can see it but I was able to go ahead and, and fix it, you know, a little bit. I went on ahead and I broke down and I got myself an easy lock too. I sure did. I had viewed someone's video and man, it sold me because I was like, uh, I didn't like the fact of the snagging of my hair. You know, I, you know, my hair would never lock if that keeps happening. So I said, you know what? This says here that it it don't snag hair. And I was reading that somewhere. But anyway, this little booklet is what the tool came on. And it was, the tool was attached right here. I ordered it off of Amazon. And um, this booklet thing here is basically instructional. It's like an instructional manual telling you how to do it and different things like that. It's giving you the do's and don'ts, telling you what you should and shouldn't to be doing. This lady right here took the time out because she has interlock locks herself. And she took the time out because she does her own hair. And I guess the over the process of, over the time of her doing her own hair, you know, she got a chance to know what you should and shouldn't be doing. So she really want to pass that information on to us. As well as she do have a disclaimer down there. Take a look at that tool if you get a chance. Um, but yeah, this right here on this side explains the tool itself. And it's also giving you the instructions on how to do it. How to interlock. This right here is like the showing you how to really do the interlocking. You know, if you want to do the, the clockwise motion, then this is showing you exactly how to do it. She also has a YouTube channel. Um, I think it is called Easy Lock. You know, you could look it up on um, YouTube here. And yeah. So what I'm going to do, I cannot think what her name is. I will put it in the video once I look it up on my thing. I think her middle name was Lynn. Uh, I'm thinking about all kind of crazy names, but I'll just put it down here. So, all right, so this is the two, and yeah, they come in all different colors, and also this is plastic. She says she would never, ever uh, suggest using a metal tool, and you know what? After me using this, I see why, because this is flexible for the hair for number one. It don't snag and it don't pull. Now, I am not trying to knock the tools, the metal tools that I have, but it's just, I can tell, they metal, and this is plastic. It's a big difference. Plastic is more bendable. What makes this tool so dynamic is once I take my hair and put it inside of here, then I push it up right there where that little lock thing is, and it actually holds my hair in there. I do not experience it coming out, maybe every now and then, but I think it'd be where I'd be then did something but it don't do it often 
and it makes the time of interlocking go by faster as well. It's, it's like a dream come true because it's what I've been looking for, but I wanted the curvedness and I wanted that, you know, that where it locks the hair, you could just go on in there and interlock and get done. And this is it, right here in this tool, right here, this is it. So I wanna go ahead and show you exactly what I am talking about. So I'm just gonna stand right here so you guys can see. And what I'm gonna do is just put down hairs that don't hairs that don't matter and make sure I get everything out of the way. So you just wanna, I'm just gonna clip it down so where it's not in my way. And yes, these are the little clips that I like to use to keep hair out my way, as well as the longer ones, the what they call them, um, duck bill clips. I use those as well. All right, so this is how it, it goes. And put my hair into there, I hope you all can see. And then I push it on there, see that? It's not dangling or nothing. I can shake my head and it's not going nowhere, it's locked. It's actually locked onto the hair. All right, and it adjusts to any size lock. So don't think just because it got a little small hole in there or something, it's not gonna work for you. Yes, it will, because you gotta keep in mind it's plastic and it's a bendable type plastic, which means it adjusts to whatever size lock that you have. All right, so what I'm gonna do is find the thing. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna start right under here and I'll just push it up you want to see what I'm doing here which is a bunch of videos on YouTube about interlocking oh it's so many <laughs> but I know sometimes you just rather see it from whoever everybody's uh technique of doing this is, is different okay so now I'm going in on this side and the hair is locked. I don't need to go no further. That's another thing too. When you interlock in your hair, don't do it so tight to where you about to lose all a piece of your brain that's right there on that side. You don't need to go through all that. And then sometimes if you do interlock your hair, cause I've noticed too, after I've interlocked my hair, and I know I didn't do it tight, but it be tight. Just spray some water or you just get yourself some oil and just put on that scalp right there and that loosens it up. That'll loosen it up. And that's really it, y'all. But I just wanted to come in and show you guys my new tools and, and explain to you my interlocking process. But that really is how I interlock my hair. I try to at least do my hair. I have been doing it once a month. So I want to try to stretch it. But for some reason, I end up getting the loose locks all around here and the edges and all of that in the back. They get super loose. And then once I tighten them up, I feel that I have to retighten my whole head. I don't know, is that is that really necessary? Should I? But you know, I do it because I say, well, I had to tighten these up, then I might as well retighten. And that's what really happened this time. I was only supposed to have been doing really these over here and around here. And I didn't turn around and just about and did my whole head. But all of that pretty much, all of this is done. This is really all I have left to do is right here. And yeah, it usually takes me about good. Uh, no more than about a good six hours. Don't really go no further than that. But this tool makes it even faster because I'm just able to go in there, uh, do a two-part uh, turnaround because it's, it's, it haven't really gotten to where I can do the four yet. So this is like, it's with some it's two, with some it's three, and then with some it can be a four. You know, it, it depends. That's it. Uh, so I'm go ahead and try to finish the rest of these. And then when you get like these little pieces right here that stands out, sometimes you can just take them and just twist it around and that'll make it go back in there. Or you can just take this little tool like this and just, and just keep sewing it till it's in there. But sometimes that interlock do misses them, and you really want them, them little pieces to be in there, you know. And that's the way I felt to do it. 
that's really it in a nutshell. Like, I don't have nothing else to uh, really say. But I am loving this Easy Lock tool. This, this thing is the bomb. It really does what I need for it to do. When it goes in there and it does a real nice neat job. And it, I like the fact of how it toes the hair snug. It's really a snug hold. And then just push the hair on into here. Like that. If you know how to sew, then this right here should come in it should come real easy to you. Just make sure you got all the other ones that's around that lock out the way. And then you can just go. Now see how you can see that pink tube going through the hair? It just makes it easy. I like my pink tube. It matches my mirror. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, but I am just really excited. You know, I was excited to this video to show y'all what this tool is doing. And yeah. So I don't want to take up any more of your time with this, but I did want to come in and share with you um, my interlocking schedule and um, yeah, how I do it. Because it's really, it's just that simple, guys. It's not, it's, it's just a no-brainer at all. It's really a no-brainer. But yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead finish this up so i'm gonna shut this video off but i thank y'all so very much for watching and also make sure you thumbs up the video that's the main thing but hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell that way you'll be notified when i upload the next video but i thank y'all so very much for watching and i want to wish you all a good day so until the next bye